We are back with another game day vlog. Righto guys, I've just gotten home from work. It's about 5.30. I just had a quick shower and now it's time to cook some dinner because I'm starving. And I tell you what, I've lashed out this week. I'm cooking myself a nice piece of ribeye steak. So I'm going to go out and cook it right now because I'm starving, so let's go. Righto, got our bit of ribeye here. Look at that, beef ribeye. Beautiful piece of meat, that is thick boy. Gonna cook that up. I'm gonna run you through how I cook my steak. But first, let's get some chips in the air fryer because they take forever to cook. A few chippies in the air fryer. Or oh, probably not that many, but. Bang, bang. That is cooking delicious. Probably too many chips, but a few carbs won't hurt before the game. Give us plenty of energy for tomorrow. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna pack down the steak, get it nice and dry. You wanna get all the moisture off the steak, so give her a little pat down. Look at that, beautiful ribeye. First time cooking a ribeye with bone in it too. So I've never cooked a ribeye with the bone, but delicious, be nice and tender. So pat it down, get it nice and dry, just like that. Throw your paper towel out. Bang. So now what you want to do is salt it up a little bit. Get a bit of seasoning on it. Look at that. Nice and salty. Get a little pat in. That'll help give it nice crispy on the outside too. Look at that. That is delicious. Get a close up on that. Delicious. Righto. Now, need to put some oil in the pan. <laughs> I don't like that close up. Get a little bit of oil. Pan is nice and hot. A little bit of oil, but not too much. Bang. Beautiful. You want to get your steak, make sure the pan's really nice and hot. Just bang her on there. You want to hear that sizzle. And you're going to start a timer. You want that thick bit of steak like that. You probably want to wait three and a half minutes, three to three and a half minutes, and you're going to flip it over. Then I'm going to show you what I do with this stuff next. While we're waiting for that to cook, we're going to dish up a quick salad, get a bit of lettuce, Get that nice in there. Beautiful, get some tomatoes. Dice up some tomatoes. All right, you get your tomatoes in there. Beautiful. Get your feta cheese. Wrong way with the knife. Use the sharp ends, probably the best option. Then you wanna get your feta, sprinkle it all through there. And that is a nice little salad to go on the side of your steak. Delicious. Right, so it's been about three minutes, so let's have a quick look at this. Yeah, that is perfect. Nice, crispy outside. That is actually really good. Now, what we're gonna do here, get a couple garlic cloves, crush them up. Crush some garlic up. Get a big spoon of butter. You want a fair chunk of butter. This is just for seasoning. So you're gonna put your butter in there, out. Then put your garlic in there as well. Normally you'd put a bit of thyme in there as well, but I don't have any thyme. So I'm just gonna go with the garlic butter for today. You start pasting it over your steak so it seeps through there. Make sure it's So you do this for another three minutes. So you get your pepper steak gravy and we're gonna cook that up in the microwave. Quick 40 seconds and it is delicious. We're nearly ready here, just keep basting it. So it's been our time. Have a quick look at the other side of this. That is perfect, look at that. So we're gonna put it on a cooling rack Get all these flavors in. Get your garlic, spread it over the top. And you wanna get the sauces and just let it soak through for like five minutes. Righto, so we're gonna let that rest for five minutes and then she's ready to eat. Delicious, mwah. Turn the oven off. <laughs> Thanks to the cameraman for pointing that out. You clean that up, I've done my job. Cook down the planes. 
Look at how delicious that is. That is gonna be the best pre-game meal I've ever had. Bit of chicken salt on the chips. Delicious. Salt and pepper the steak. Perfect. Let's see if I overcooked it or not. First cut, oh, look at that. That is perfectly medium rare. That is the juiciest and most flavoursome steak I've ever had. Beautiful, I'm gonna tuck into this. I'll see you when I'm done. Can't forget a bit of gravy on the chips. Look at that. Delicious and a bit there to dip the steak in. Honestly, look at how perfect that is cooked. Full of juices, look at it dripping in juice. That is actually the most perfect bit of steak. Righto, absolutely smashed that. Look at that. Delicious. That is probably some of the best steak I've ever eaten in my life and it was cooked by me. So if you ever wanna cook a steak, follow what I just did because that was delicious. And that was a good meal to have before a game because I don't feel as bloated and sluggish like I would have if I had a carbonara or pizza or something. So that is a nice meal. Keeps me feeling good, not overeating. So that was delicious. The salad was good, the chips were good, and the steak was the best steak I've ever eaten in my life. So now it's only like six o'clock, I had an early dinner. I'm gonna kick my feet up, put a multi on, watch the footy, and hopefully tip the right team because I've been struggling in the footy tipping. But I'll see you when I'm about to go to bed. Righto guys, I'm gonna go to sleep now. It's pretty early, it's only like nine o'clock. It's like half time of the footy, so I'm gonna go to bed now, put the footy on my laptop, but I'll probably fall asleep watching that on my laptop. So, gonna go to sleep now. I've had a big week, so I'm absolutely exhausted. Hopefully get a good sleep in, plenty of rest, and I'll see you all in the morning for breakfast. Good night. Eight hours later. Good morning. It is about 8.30 in the morning. I've just woken up about five minutes ago, and I fell asleep so early last night. I don't even think I made it to three quarter time of the footy. I hopped into bed, put the footy on, and I was asleep in minutes. So I'm feeling fresh. I've had like nine hours sleep, so that's a lot. I normally run off five or six hours sleep during the week. So I'm feeling really good. Gonna get up, have a shower now, and then I'm gonna make some breakfast. But I'll show you what I have for breakfast like I always do. So I'll see you in a minute. You. Get these dickheads in the background, video them, because I'm going to put them in. Because if you're going to fucking <laughs> sit here and watch me do it, you're going to be in the fucking video. Start off the day with a coffee, you got to get your Nespresso in, bang that down. Get some milk in this bad boy. Lactose free milk too, so you don't have any tummy problems out there while you're playing. Nothing worse. Coffee, bang, hit that button. Easy work. Sometimes, if it wants to work. Look at that. And look at that. Bang, perfect cappuccino. We'll delete this and then we'll make some brekkie. Got the wheat bix again this week. Gone with the honey instead of the sugar. Seemed to work last week. I didn't play too bad last weekend. So we'll stick with the same, same breakfast. Coffee, four wheat bix. Bit of honey this week. Let's get into it. 10 out of 10. Gotta try it. Righto guys, I've just finished breakfast. Now I'm going for a walk. It's not too long until I have to leave now. Going for a bit of a walk, get the legs flowing. But it's gonna be a huge game against Lavi. Like they are a young, exciting team and we always seem to play really, really close games when we verse each other. So I'm sure it's gonna be like that today. And the weather is like pretty shit. It's been raining all morning. It's 11 degrees, it's quite cold. So it's gonna be interesting to see how we go. but. It's honestly a great thing as a small forward when it's wet because you get a lot more looks because like your forwards are like dropping it a bit more because it's wet and slippery. So that'll hopefully give us small forwards a bit better of a look of crumbing and hopefully I make the most of my opportunities. <laughs> and hopefully I make the most of my opportunities this week because last week I kicked two goals five and it honestly should have been more like five goals two. Like there was a lot of goals I should have kicked and normally would kick. We were just all kicking like shit last weekend, so I don't know what happened there. But hopefully I play well this week, just go attack the ball really hard. I feel a lot better this week. I'm not sick, obviously. So 
that's a big bonus. I should be able to cover the ground a bit better without my lungs feeling like they're gonna collapse on me. I practice a lot Tuesday, Thursday of my under pressure snaps and just under pressure goal kicking because my set shots have been pretty good this year. It's more just been my under pressure kicks. So I've done a bit of that this week. So hopefully if I get some under pressure shots, I will make the most of my opportunities this week because last week was a bit embarrassing by not just me, the whole club, we all kicked pretty shit. So that's the game plan today. I'm gonna finish this walk for another five minutes and then I am gonna go into town and meet up with the boys, do our team meeting and then hopefully we go out and win. But it'll be a good game. So I'll see you when we're done. Chill. So it was a pretty quiet first seven minutes of the game. There was one point kick by us and two point kick by Lavi, but as you see there, we get a kick in 50 and there's the man himself, Big Willow. Me give him a pat on the head and he goes back and kicks our first for the day, which took eight minutes, so it took a while to get our first goal this week. But then you'll see here, Lavi with a quick reply. Two minutes later, beautiful kick inside 50. The big man goes back and he kicks Lavi's first with 10 minutes into the first quarter. I didn't play my best game this day, but here's me, just there was three Lavi blokes onto me and then Foz coming late, so I just wanted to get another forward 50 stoppage. So I made sure they didn't get that out because they would have outnumbered us and could have got a run on. So I held that one in there for another stoppage, but then Logues kicks one into me, couldn't quite just get there. I pick it up cleanly and then a quick little snap, Thought it would have been perfect because I've seen Rhino there, number five on his own. But unfortunately, I just a bit too much on it and kicked it over his head. Here was another missed opportunity for me. We get one in long and I absolutely bumped the crap out of that bloke. And I just dropped the sitter. Like I bumped him out of the way, had a paddock, but then I just couldn't get my hands to it quick enough. So I dropped one there and missed an opportunity. But here's Lavi. We're only a goal up. But then look at that miracle right foot banana from 45. Lavi goes bang and gets a quick reply and they are two points behind us now. And then Foz, not long after, kicks a dribbler from the pocket. What a goal and that gets us right back in the lead. And here was just another one of me. I get the crumb here, hold it in, get a stoppage. Great tackle by the other bloke, but I didn't want to let that out. So get another stoppage there. So this was the end of the first quarter here. We ended on three goals, four for 22 and they had two goals, two for 14. So they weren't far behind us. They were keeping the pressure on us early. But our message at the first quarter was just to keep going in, playing our game plan, and hopefully would kick away. But Lavi in the second quarter got a really hot start. Look at this bloke, number three, on his left. Beautiful snap. I need to do a bit more of that. That was a beautiful snap on his left foot in the first 12 seconds to get him right back in the hunt. But here was just another little opportunity for me. I fumbled it the first time, then I got it cleanly, and then he just tapped it out of my hands. But I pressured up, made sure I got back in there, then got another handball out to Brucey, but unfortunately he kicks into Howie, but unfortunately turns it over. But here's me again, just getting up reasonably high. Cammy got a foot to it, and then I get a little handball out, and I give it to him again, draw the carry out, and then he kicks in board. Beautiful kick to Pendy. But there was just another little touch I got. So I was getting my hands on it a bit more this quarter. I got another one here, and I tell you what, that felt like the best kick I'd ever done, but unfortunately it was just half a centimetre too high for Loeb's. And then it went over his head and he kicked it in board, but unfortunately we got nothing from that. Then here's just another one of our pressure. And then Willie, I'm screaming at him, please keep the goal, because I was buggered. And then he finished with a beautiful goal. Here's just one of the big men again. He gets a nice little mark in the pocket. Wrong side for a right footer, you would think. But sure enough, he goes back, kicks a banana from 35 out. Look at that bend through. Beautiful goal, boys get around him, and we absolutely love it. And then the siren goes there. So we ended on five goals, seven for 37, and they had four goals, five for 29. So they were not staying far behind us at all. But our halftime message was just to be more motivated and we were pretty fumbly, so we wanted to make sure we weren't fumbling. But we got a nice little look in here. Start of the third quarter, Cam Wilson takes a nice little mark. He goes back, makes it look like he's going to have a shot, and then he just hits up nice Willy Wheeler. Right on his limit here, I thought. But sure enough, he goes back, and he absolutely dobs a much-needed goal to start the third quarter. But here I go here. Pressure, I get a hand to it there. Pressure again, I am, and I get a little hand out here. See Ned Pendy, give it to Pendy. He gives it back, and I sort of panic, tried to snap it on the left boot. But unfortunately, that bloke got his fingers to it. But luckily, we get it out of bounds for another forward half stoppage. 
Here's one here. Ryan Bruce gets a touch kick in board. My bloke marked it in front of me. I was getting pretty frustrated. And I did sling tackle him there a little bit, which I probably shouldn't have done. But luckily, the umpire didn't see much in it. So he let that one slide. But here's Tanner Nyholm. He drills one in perfectly in towards me. There I am looking, waiting for the right opportunity. It wasn't much there, so I just hit the top of the square here for Big Willow to get a big run and a jump at it. Nice little left foot kick in board. And then Foz drops an absolute sitter, unfortunately, but then he gets the hands out. Gives it back to me, and then I give it back to Willie, and then he Hoz kicks it up to me, and then it gets my fingertips, and then Cowie kicks it in board. It was just a mayhem, and then unfortunately, we didn't get a goal from that. And here's just a ripping goal from old Jess Koopman. He gets a handball that not much on his right. Bang, just makes the most of something that is pretty much not there. So that was a brilliant goal. First game back for Coop for a little while because he's been injured. So that was a ripping goal for him. And there's me just again getting a nice little handball out to Willie. Willie hits inboard but unfortunately drops it. So that's the end of the third quarter there. And we were on 8 goals 9 for 57. And they were on 6 goals 5 for 41. And our message going into three quarter time was that we had a bit of a lead, so we just wanted to hold onto the ball a bit more here and try to slow them down from scoring. So it wasn't so much our fast play that we normally go with. The Stevie J sort of wanted us to slow it down a little bit. And Lavi got a quick inside 50 to start the game, and then they get a free kick there for Howie, I think, got caught holding the ball. And he goes back here and he absolutely makes the most of it and dobs a brilliant goal. So they're right back in it early in the fourth quarter. And then I get a nice kick from Cam Wilson here. He hits me lace out and I turn quick. I hear Willow screaming for it and I see him free. And I hit him perfectly. But unfortunately this guy, number 24, I did not see him at all. He just come from the right side of the screen and got a hand to it. So I was pretty, pretty disappointed about that because it was a good kick. But unfortunately that guy got there and smothered it. So I took a nice grab there going back with the flight and then I tried to hit Willow here which probably wasn't the right option and I kick it way too high and then I miss him and that was not good. Stevie J was not happy. I could hear him abusing me from the sidelines because I turned that over. Then I got dragged but lucky Logues comes in clutch and puts another goal on the board to put that pressure on a little bit more. But then they just go again here and they have their opportunities to kick goals and look at that they do so they get a quick reply but here's just an example sometimes it's not going your way as a forward but you can always apply that pressure here's me just getting a hand into it not letting on diving on him again to get the pressure on so when it's not your day you can still apply the pressure and help your back line out and your midfield out as a forward by just pressure 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 and lay as many tackles as you can then you see here Lavi go forward again but luckily, he unfortunately missed it for the Lavi boys. But that was a real sigh of relief for us. And then look at him go again. And like another opportunity, they really could have put the foot down. And probably would have been in front. They kicked them last two. But he kicked that one on the full. And look, they're going forward again. So they had plenty of opportunities late in this fourth quarter to hit the lead. But unfortunately, they just couldn't make the most of the opportunities for them boys. So Lavi kicked another goal in there. But then lucky Basil hits Logue's lace out and he told him to take his 30, goes back, has a ping, didn't quite make the distance, but there he is, the big man, Big Lee Williams, and he takes his 30, so that was a one minute play, and he makes sure he finishes that, and that really puts the nail in the coffin here, but then Lavi come late, has a shot on the siren, but unfortunately, I don't think he kicked it, but we were very lucky to get the win there. It's always a close game against the Panthers. I told you this at the start. I knew it was going to be a tough fought out game. They are a very good young side and we were just very lucky to get away with the win. So luckily us boys got up and got the win, but unfortunately I'm not playing my best footy still. I haven't had a very good game yet that I'm really happy with. So I've got to keep knuckling down, doing everything I can right to get to the standards that I was in pre-season and last year. Like I had two pre-season games this year where I kicked five goals in each one. So I need to get back to that form. But this week could be the week against Myrtleford. They're a bloody good side, Myrtleford. We always have close games against them as well. Like I've lost to them, I reckon, two or three times up in Myrtleford. So it's always a very, very risky game to go up there and play. But hopefully we get the win and then we go in because we got two buys after this next week's game. And then we verse Big Wang Rovers. So that'll be me versus Prime Train in three or four weeks time. 
but let's take it one week at a time. We've got Myrtle for this week. Hopefully I can put together some good form so I get picked for the Wang Rovers game because I'd really like to line up against Prime Train. But if you want to keep seeing these game day vlogs, 200 likes. I will do it next week if I get 200 likes and then you'll see me versus Prime Train in a few weeks time after that. Like and subscribe. See ya.